G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is factorials. Uh, what are these guys? Well, these you would have seen before, probably written like this. Um, or maybe you've just seen the special button on your calculator. So they're th things like the 5 factorial here. And what they are is pretty much where you're getting every number, every whole number below the number of 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you're multiplying them to find the product of these. Okay, so 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is what 5 factorial is, okay, uh, which is equal to 120. And these guys are used a whole lot when we're looking at combinations and permutations, also a little bit in algebra as well. And what are they? Well, pretty much at its most basic, you have, if you could imagine 5 different things, we could arrange them 120 different ways. So it's an expression of how many different ways we can order this many objects, okay? So if you were to say there is n objects, n factorial would be the number of ways that you could actually order these. So by the way, you also have uh, this one which is 0 factorial. I'm just going to mention this right now. 0 factorial is equal to 1. And this is going to throw you a little bit because you're going to wait, hang on, what's 0? What, what, how would you even write that? Um, this is just one of these things I'm not going to get too much in the explanation of. I've heard this explained as how many different ways could you order the number zero or the order as an empty set and you'd only have one way of doing it but the mainly where we really worry about this is because it's used later to actually make a few combination permutation calculations actually work okay so just as long as you can sort of keep that as a side so I think to know now I'm just going to go through a few different types of factorial questions okay so a couple to start off with let's start some easy ones what is 4 factorial so this is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and this is equal to 24. Okay, so we'll go a bit of a harder one now. And what if I was to ask you what 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial is? Okay, I'm going to launch straight into those because I think you can get the idea of what each one of these is. So how would you go about working this out? Now, at its most basic what we could do is we could just expand these out. We could say 5 times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. But I'm going to show you a few little tricks for doing a couple of shortcuts on this. So the 3 factorial could be 3 times 2, times 1. So what you're going to notice here is that these guys here, the 3, the 2, the 1, they cancel each other out because there's 1 down here. You see that? So we're just left with 5 times 4. 5 times 4, the answer equals 20. But I'm going to show you a little secret, a little little shortcut for this, which is this. So, say I think about my 5 factorial. I could think about this also being like this. I could think about it being 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, because 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, but it saves writing that out. And 3 factorial is 3 factorial. So you can just straight away cancel these ones out. So, you could almost just ignore that and just go with those first two, you know, the 5 and the 4. So 5 times 4 equals 20. What about I give one that you can try? Uh, what about 70 factorial over 68 factorial? And you wouldn't want to put one of these into your calculator a lot of the time because you get a big error message. So it's really handy to use this little trick rather than working at 70 times 69 times 68 times 67 times and getting some huge number, we can use that little shortcut and we can do this, right? We can go, so we can be like 70 times 69 and this is going to be, and I'm going to write this in a different colour because I wouldn't even bother write this on occasionally, this is times 68 factorial and this is going to be over 68 factorial, yeah? But I could have not even bothered to put those together because they're just going to cancel each other out and then they're going to disappear so we could just be left with 70 times 69. 70 times 69? Well, the answer to that is going to be 4,830. Okay. All right. What about a different type of question with these? I'm going to now go a bit of a different type of one that you might get. What about we try 5 factorial over 3 factorial, 2 factorial. Okay, so two, 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And what does that equal? Now, I'm just going to launch straight into how I'd work this out in a nice shorthand sort of way because 5 factorial, 3 factorial, if I just, what I did before, I'm going to end up with 5 times 4, alright? Because the rest of it's going to be times 3 times 2 times 1, but that's going to be taken care of here, yeah? So 
I'm not going to even bother put that in. And this part here is 2 factorial. That 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So I'm just going to put a 2 there, because 2 times 1 is 2. So we end up with 5 times 4, which is 20. And 2 is 2. 20 divided by 2, the answer is 10. What about we try 12 factorial over 10 factorial times 2 factorial? What about you give this one a go and see how you go? And hopefully what you're going to do, and see if you can do this in a shortcut method, hopefully you've paused it now and, 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 and you, you've tried it. This 12 factorial over 10 factorial is just going to leave us with 12 times 11, because then the rest of it's going to be cancelled out, correct? Yeah, you got that idea? Because that's going to be 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. We got rid of it. And 2 factorial is just 2. So, what are we left with? 12 times 11 over 2. This is going to be equal to a 132 over 2, which is equal to 66. Alright, now that is the start of... Uh, factorials. We're going to be using these in later videos in uh, combination of permutation calculations, so I thought we should do a video and, and have a look at a video based on those first. Anyway, hope you found that video useful. See you next time. Bye.